lake. As you can see that in the distance. We're not far how far this goes back or goes in, but we'll soon find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam and this is Twyla. And, and we have just arrived to... So we're staying in Kaikens Reserve, around seven minutes north of Yarrawonga. So just over there bridge. It's not far at all. And um, we've got, we've just stopped here. It's free camping. And um, we've got this absolutely wonderful view. And it's, it's not overly, like it's pretty busy. And I reckon if we had a four wheel drive, we would have had plenty of places to pick from. But we've just settled on, let me turn this around. We've decided on here because uh, it's the most uh, stable ground in the park at the moment. And as you can see, we've got dark clouds behind us. Yes. It's about to pour. It's, the heavens yep. are going to open and we have the thunder rumbling over. So, um, yeah, buckle in uh, because we're about to have a storm. We're going to have some dinner. And then tomorrow we'll show you around Yarrawonga and where we're actually staying. Well, we're all set up now. Twyla's not in her basket, which is down there. She's on the chair. She thinks she's human. Don't tell her any different because that's what she thinks. Um, I think we're gonna do some steak sandwiches for dinner. Twyla's still snug in the chair. And I'm just about to, we went to um, information on the way through and um, I grabbed some bits and pieces not not too much stuff there wasn't heaps to grab uh the main things i suppose are that and uh, there's a few walks you want to do tomorrow adam's just out there flying the drone give me some really good shots so he's just waiting for it to come down out of the sky <laughs> now, this is something you don't normally see the other side of our filming but anyway why that comes down <laughs> Anyway, we're doing some research to see what we can show you tomorrow around here. And um, I think the drone's coming down now. I think it, I can hear it. Now, I think the storm has left us, hopefully. Oh, here it is. There it is. Oh, he's landing it now. But yeah, I think, the, I think the storm's gone over. It's just spitting. So hopefully we can enjoy dinner outside tonight. I'm looking forward to dinner. I'll take you on a little walk, just only a quick one. But um, obviously you can see us here with no one around us, pretty much. But just over from where we are, check this out. There's so many. There's a whole heap here, whole heap there. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy <laughs> considering that to this. I'm pretty happy with that. So I just seen a boat go out too. Um, they were going fishing, but I can't see him now. They must have gone right out. But anyway. <laughs> So the weather's on our side at the moment. It's looking absolutely good. It looks like a painting. Look at yeah, the sky. I think sky. it's actually changed. Well, yeah, I think the storm's gone over us now, so yeah. it's always good. But anyway, we're heading down. So we've driven right through this place when we arrived to check out where we could camp. Look at that, bro. I can't get over how gorgeous it looks. Um, but we're just at the end of the park. Is this a park? Yeah, um, is well, the, the the camping area? The camping yeah. area is, and we just spoke to a lady that's staying there. What caravan park is it? It's, it wasn't big four. It's a oh, g'day, a g'day. So it's a g'day park, and um, she said it's mostly cabins. But some good news for people with dogs, they do have dog friendly cabins. So anyway, we're gonna have we walk in Twyla because she needs her you know, afternoon walk. And um, we're just gonna head down there to show you guys, just in case 
you're not up for free camping or you want a luxury to toilet and showers, you can um, come stay here at the Gillette so we'll show the entrance. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, we'll show the entrance. Yeah, you're not staying there at the moment, so we're not going to do a tour of the No, no, we're not giving you a tour. But we'll just show the We're just showing you just in case you're interested. <laughs> so if you want to know what um, park it was, that's it there. And um, so, yeah, and then the, you can see the cabins there. And through the cabins, get a beautiful view of the... Uh, water there. How gorgeous is that? Anyway, we're not here for this park, but just to let you know. So now we're going to head back in to where we're staying. So we've got some good news. We just realised on the sign now that we've actually stopped and read it properly that you can have fires here. Well, I think the other side actually had a different symbol. I think it may. I think the other side may have said contained fire, like in yeah. a carrier of some oh, sort, okay. I think. But this is saying that, yeah, you just can't collect wood here. And, um, yeah, so, and just if it's a fire season, you can't have fires. But it's not, so maybe tomorrow night we can have a fire. Well, cooking has started. We're having an entree of dumplings. Now, if you remember in last week's episode, we had a few left over, so I'm going to cook them up now. Hopefully they turn out right, and then we're going to do our steak sandwiches. So let's have a look at these dumplings and see how they're going. All right, this time I made them. Oh, I've almost burnt them. But anyway, <laughs> um, they're uh, doing all right. But I have cooked them on both sides, which you're not meant to do. But Adam likes them that way, so I'm doing the way he likes them. While I'm on dumpling duty, this little dumpling, Adam. Gross. Is that the most corniest thing you've What are you doing to my steak? Um, he's getting all the stuff ready to go on the steak sandwiches. So we got, looks like we've got tomato, carrot, cheese, onion, lettuce, and Adam, what you marinate it with? Oh, uh, just pepper. As well, like, I think it's just pepper. Because it's pepper steak. Yeah, we just yeah, have guess that so. in here, don't we? It's just, it's just, just, the, front it's just a mix of pepper seasoning. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. So I just need some oil for that. So I'm just doing that. So anyway, so I'll go back out and um, check on the dumplings, my little dumpling. <laughs> I've never caught you that before. How funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> have you got the soy sauce ready? For, oh, for the entree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. All right, I'll grab that. And, oh, um, right. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, they better not stick. Oh, no. I'm going to start calling you dumpling. <laughs> you are little. <laughs> well, no comment. <laughs> These guys are ready. So this is how they look. The way Adam likes them. Very well cooked. We've got some soy sauce. So anyway, let's have entree. And then we'll get the steak sandwiches happening. Okay, the steaks, the onions are on. Getting ready for our steak sandwiches. Excited, Adam? Hmm? I said, are you excited? For dinner? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> I think excited is probably an extra level of, I don't know. Yeah. Not, oh, wow. That did look like a lightning. I wonder if there is. Yeah, I thought I saw lightning before. Yeah, I can see smoke. It's gone past <laughs> us. Well, it's gotten dark very quickly, and Anna's just making his sandwich. So, steak sandwich with all these little treats on top. So, um, yeah, looks good. Oh, and Twyla, she got to meet her friend who came past before, who looks just like her. <laughs> you're in my seat, you see? Yeah, you are in, you're in Daddy's seat. Get in your seat. So, what do you think, Adam? Yeah, it's cool. Good steak sandwiches. Okay, so in an update, uh, we've just come inside not too long ago, it's done all the dishes, and we were... Adam, explain about the bugs. Oh, it's a mozzie infestation. Yeah, so there was about 18,000 billion, trillion and one bugs. Bugs? Or just mozzies? I think mozzies. Pretty much mozzies, in the van, and we... And we we had our blue lights on and all, and it was just absolutely bad. So anyway, we all went outside, we sprayed the van, we come back in, and they're just everywhere. So we have been cleaning mozzies up. 
don't know if you can see this. Mozzie's up for the last probably hour off our beds, off the floor, off out of Twilo's water. So anyway, so out of it, we've Well, we've washed the bowl, we've washed everything, we've cleaned everything, we've washed everything. Adam's still picking look at him. He's still <laughs> He's full on. Anyway, so, and then on top of all that, it is now pouring down rain. So it's absolutely soaking wet. So we're in for tonight. We'll go to bed soon. Um, and yeah, so everything's clean, but we're just infested. So just, if you come here, make sure you've got the spray and just be aware there is a lot of mosquitoes at the moment. Good morning. So we've just woken up and um, well, I have anyway sleep but um it rained all night it was pouring down rain but we've woken up to beautiful blue skies look at this absolutely gorgeous and you can't go past this amazing view waking up to this and not paying a cent i love it but um yeah i'm gonna go for a quick walk and check out some other vans and show you guys so this is probably the most congested area around here but besides this it's pretty like spaced out um there's a fair few vans and then you got a few tents more vans and then there's some tents over here so you definitely got to be self-contained because there's no toilets and i've noticed there is a lot of these little tent toilets around um yeah, so this is probably the most congested bit, and then down further, it's all pretty much single spots. So there's even some really special spots where it juts out, and like this group of people here have got this whole section to themselves now. How cool is that? So there are some really, really nice spots here. I think if you came here midweek, you would absolutely love it. I reckon there'd be hardly no one here. You'd have the whole place to yourself pretty much. And um, maybe not so much in the summer, but around this time of the year. Yeah, definitely. Check out those birds out there. They're just sitting on the, uh... how cute. I've noticed a couple of van lifers. There's one over here. How cool is that? And then I met this lady yesterday. She's traveling solo. And uh, anyway, she was really lovely. Gave her one of our cards, told her to watch our channel. So hopefully we've got a new subscriber there. Anyway, there we are. Time to get Adam and Twyla up, I think. You can be the new, you can be up, mate. Wow, Twyla's definitely woken up this morning. Twyla? Oh, she doesn't like him. Oh, uh, you will for a second. Kisses. <laughs> Kisses. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be packing up yeah. to go have breakfast yeah. somewhere. Twyla. Oh, Adam. <laughs> Don't you want your gay little flags? No. Okay. Come on. Let's pack up so we can go have some brekkie. Oh, there we go. Fana. <laughs> She's again. proud. Do it again. Proud for daddies. Yay. And action. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so our first stop is Pertle Park. This place is unbelievable. Check out the play equipment behind me. And there's even some water, like adventure park over here. There is barbecues, so you can be here all day playing with the kids. And then you got, you can eat here. There's a full size train over here that kids can jump on and play with, play in. And uh, check out this flying fox. And then to top it all off, what about the view? This is awesome. So let me show you around this park and then we're gonna go enjoy our breakfast. So how 
how cool is this? I'm up in the train, checking it out. You can see all the bits and pieces so that make it work, and the bit where the fire or coal or whatever they used to put in there. And then um, out here, get even a better view of the water. Even Twyla's getting in on the action. Check it out. Loving the train. Yay. <laughs> Also, they've got a little bit of an inlet where kids can come down and have a bit of a swim. You can see that they've put all rocks here so the water doesn't come flying through. And then you've got a bit of a sandy beach. So on a hotter day, how nice would this be? So just come in from our walk and Twyla's is happy. She's been to the toilet and we've got the kettle on. And this is our breakfast food this morning. Our wraps are ready. All we've got to do is actually wrap them. So look at Twyla, she can't wait, she wants some. No, you can't. Adam, one of these yours, one's mine. Okay. This is a lot, a lot of sauce. <laughs> oh, gosh. What do you want a sauce? Last week when I made them for you, you didn't you wanted sauce? So here we are. <laughs> So we're just now heading down the main street, but it is absolutely chockers. This is a uh, large contrast compared to yesterday afternoon when we had like literally, you know, cream of the clock with car park choices. But now it's going to be slim pickings. Um, I'm sure we'll get something, but it's just a matter of doing a few circles. Because it's a long weekend, it's absolutely packed. All right, so we're gonna go see if we can find a bakery, just have a little snack, and Adam wants to try to get something. Ooh, church bells are going. And um, as per usual, Adam's looking at real estate. Every single time he comes, do you do this too? Do you look at real estate every time you go to a town? Adam, are you doing your normal? What's that? Looking at real estate. <laughs> yeah, well, I was, I was thinking, there's actually a there's nice house, nice house for what, 600K the pool. Oh, that sounds right, 600K around here. You've never moved to the country. <laughs> oh, maybe one day when we retire. <laughs> anyway, let's head on for a walk around town. Hey, Adam, this is kind of appropriate for today. Look, it is grand final day. <laughs> Well, it didn't take long. We found our Yarrawonga Bakery. So we're gonna go and Adam's gonna pick something to have and grab a coffee. Now, one thing I did notice, of course, there's award winning on the window, but they haven't got award winning pie or, or vanilla slice. But anyway, maybe inside we'll find a sign saying they've won something. And if they have, we'll have to try it. Hey, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Our coffees are on the way. Are they going to bring them out? Yeah, they're going to bring them out. But um, so, what did you end up with, Adam? Oh, I need a jump for starters. I've actually got yeah. goosebumps, <laughs> even though it's actually yeah, sunny. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got a cherry ripe slice. Cherry ripe slice. We're going to let you know how that tastes. And look what I got. It looks so big. Look at my hand. <laughs> it's massive compared to Adam's. Adam, put it next to that. Um, how big it is. Oh, so it's a lamington with fresh cream in it. Yum. <laughs> Well, the coffees that has come, I've attacked this. It's absolutely beautiful, but just so big, I can't fit it in my mouth properly. How's yours, Adam? <laughs> How's yours? Well, I can't fit it in. Um, yeah, that's good. It's really nice. It's not too. It's not sickly. I was actually, I was actually thought that it may be sickly because some cherry ripe slops, slice, slices can be kind of sloppy. Yeah. Like really runny. It's actually really nice. It's um. Oh, you good. Can see, it holds us together. It's not falling apart. Yeah, nice. It looks good. And it's a nice chocolate base as well. And even our coffees, even though they're takeaway, looking see through the lids of even made a really cute love hearts. Look at that. Did you get sugar? Oh, yeah, too sweetness, as per usual.
All right. Well, now we're in a camping shop as per usual, and I've seen a smaller. I've seen a smaller. It's too big. Is it too? But I like it. It's got the A. Then I've got the D. If it was a better, it was a better A. We should get a photo with us with these on. <laughs> now, what what have I? What am I looking for, Adam? What am I looking for? Oh, yeah, bow. A new bow. Oh, and they've actually got Yeti stuff here. So I don't know if you've ever heard of it before, but I'll take you over and show you it, and then I'll show you the bow they want to get today. Adam. So this is all the Yeti stuff. I'll show you the name of the shop in a second, but how cool is this? My friend swears by this. She's from Canada and they're really big into this. Um, and they do all, these are bear proof eskies. How cool is that? Bear proof. And this is what I want. This one here, but I'm just begging Adam to get it, and I'm going to get one of those. But we'll see if he lets me. So I've got my own way. I'm getting one of these. To this one here. And I'm getting two arrows. Three arrows. So, how exciting. Can't wait to use this. Check out this post office, 1910. How cool is this? And this is it right here. All right, well, we're, we haven't finished the shops yet, but our time's nearly run out of our car parking. It's only two hour parking. So we thought we'll go do the, where are we going? The Re, we are? We are? No, we are. We are? No, it's been, it's, we're pronouncing it wrong. What is it? How do you say it? You don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go, it was like a damn wall. We're going to go walk over that and check that out. Then we'll come back and park because we've got reservations for some lunch at a pub. So, and then um, maybe we'll finish the shops after that. So yeah, our day's just flying by, isn't it? Mm -hmm. but anyway, and I got my way. I got my new bow and arrows. Adam's not happy. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Let's have a look at this. Bit of information there for you if you want to pause that and have a read. But uh, Adam, have you done any reading yet? Uh, just briefly, but it's the largest of the, it's the largest weir of the 16 of the Murray Darling authorities. So the 16 of these along those rivers yep. is the largest, because this is the largest weir out of them all. And it does look pretty big, doesn't it? And it's uh, 340 odd meters in uh, length. And it looks like, if you look out here, this is the other side of it, um, it looks like it's really it's full. Overflowed. Overflowed, flooded, flowing. Isn't? Yeah, it's flooded up the sides of the other side. Look at that. But um, we'll walk out and get right. a better shot. Yeah, let's go to see it. <laughs> She's getting exercise in. <laughs> she wants to play. She wants to play. Well, we can play with her for a minute. Come on. All right, so here it is. Woo! So big. Yeah, so it's all covered and it's still coming through. It's that full. And it's coming through the gates, look at that. Wow. It's incredible. You can actually see where it's all coming through, even though it's shut off, and the water is pouring through. I think it's stuck there. Yeah. Reckon? Yeah, it's, it's like maybe a couple of inches. Yeah. Well, shall we take a walk over top? To see the level on the other side? All right, let's head up there. I think we're gonna have to walk up around. Scary. Oh, it is surreal. 
Are you a bit scared? I'm not scared. I'm just thinking. Poor Tyler. You wouldn't want to drop your phone through the scam. I know. Actually, I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm clasping my phone right now. <laughs> yeah, don't drop it. I'm clasping it. But if you drop it, it won't go through. Oh, it's too tight. Okay. Let's go. And then right now, that looks blind. She's not liking it, is she? <laughs> she can feel the vibrations in it. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah, she's so scared. Was hang her back? Yeah, okay. I'll go the I'll, I'll go across. Oh, we're oh, halfway there. We're halfway there. So you can see it up close. And you can see how high the water is. And if you look even further, the main bridge we go over is almost flooded. <laughs> so it's pretty insane. How much water? Huh? All the water, it's just insane. <laughs> so yeah, so we're back. It's a bit more calmer here. See you down there. And you can walk right across. Go and check out what this is over here. So we're now at the second one. This one's a lot more calmer, no noise. So let's see if Twyla's okay about it. Or if she's just like petrified. No, she's okay. All right, well, we made it here. Should we go back? There's some really great photos here of when they built it. They look pretty cool. And just the size of it, if you look at this. Look at that. That is full at the moment. Some more of the guys building it. And the machinery. Check this out. Looks like a, a tin shed on on a forklift or something. <laughs> it's so weird looking. Anyway, they're just pictures when they dammed it up to make it. Would have been incredible to see when it was getting made. Best part about this place is this sign. Dogs welcome. Yay! <laughs> about time. Brought a little blanket in for Twilight, so she's got a little space there, which is handy. We're right next to the bar, so not far from getting a drink. And then we've got our menu, so I'm going to order some lunch. And uh, they've got the football playing in the background. So what do you end up getting, Adam? Uh, pumpkin and feta arancini balls. Yep. And Korean chicken rib ribs. Yeah, ribs. Yeah. They look really good. I got a main, so these have come out first. I forgot to tell them to bring it out at the same time. And sorry about the noise, we've got the football on, this grand final. So it's very loud. We're right under the speaker. <laughs> so not the best seating in the house, but um, the food looks amazing. Well, the grand final's about to start and my steak just turns up. So I've got a medium rare rump with some chips and salad and I always love it with a bit of pepper sauce. <laughs> Yum. So to walk lunch off, we've come down to the Yarrawonga foreshore. 
Now, this is where you can catch the fairies from, the paddle steamer, and also you can check out the pelicans. Um, there's toilets down here, there's picnic areas. It's quite long and you can walk all the way along. So it's quite a nice place to come visit. A while ago, before the pandemic, they did have a blind hole thing here and you could jump on and stuff, but that's gone now. So don't come here thinking you can go to that. Um, and yeah, and you can see the bridge, there's a skate park just behind here. So otherwise, it's a really nice spot. So this is the paddle steamer if you're interested. Um, you can Google when that comes. We just missed it by half an hour, not that we're gonna go on it, only because we've got Twyla with us, and I don't know if it's pet friendly. But um, yeah, so that's it there in the photo. You just catch it from here. You've also got this cruise boat. Now if Adam and Twyla are feeling game, <laughs> you can go for a swim. They got a pool. So if you're feeling really hot, <laughs> Wait. right here, this, that's a pool, Adam. Well, where's the walls? There, goes all the way around. <laughs> no, but I mean, where's the walls? Like, it's open. <laughs> well, Adam, I'm just letting you know, this is the pool. <laughs> you gonna go for a swim? Come on. Yeah. Did you bring your bathers? Shame, yeah. So we've just arrived to Club Malawala. <laughs> no, it's close. Malawala. Malawala. Club Malawala. How funny. Anyway, they've got, so this is an RSL, and they've got a Royal Flying Doctor's plane. It's Royal huge. Air Force. Oh, Royal Air Force, sorry. It's huge. Look at it. Unbelievable. But we're just going to go, one of the reasons why they wanted to come here is I love army um, tanks and stuff. And they've got some here that you can go up and look at. So we're going to go check them out. And That's then, what everyone says. Because this place is a pokey venue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Adam is going to go throw 20 bucks in the pokies. But we'll do that after this. But anyway, let's go down and see a bit of history. So Adam's back. Did you do your dough? No. Well, I lost that dough. Yeah, it wasn't much dough, was it? No, no, no. So you need to, you need to be prepared to lose it, obviously. Yes. Um. Yeah, nothing. And I've had to do something I don't normally do, and that's what? do my hair. Well, no, because I have to. I had to do my hair so I can go and have my poke. Mm. So don't get scared, but I'm not wearing my hat right now. So I've just <laughs> put some products through my hair. So I can go into it, because because it's an RSL, you're not meant to wear a hat, obviously, or a baseball hat. So anyway, I'm going to head in and blow my money now. Right. Hopefully I come out with at least $200 to pay for shopping my bow and arrow. Alright, something's happened. Hopefully it's good. Ooh, free spins! Yay! Well, Adam and Twyla are playing games on Adam's phone. Are you winning on your phone? It's the only thing I'm winning at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so we both lost. So make sure it's a lesson. Set your limit because uh, you're bound to lose. And if you win, well, half your luck, not like us. All right, Adam, ready to go and find ourselves a camping spot tonight? 
we might get a better spot tonight. Or we might get a worse spot. <laughs> I hope we get a spot. We'll be camping in the street. Well, considering we've been out all day in Yarrawonga and had a really good time, we've managed to get our spot again, our exact spot with our nice view so we can sit here and enjoy it. But we're gonna take Twyla for a nice walk first and then we're gonna come back and have a vino and chill out until we make dinner. We're all set up now and uh, back from our walk. The sun's going down. Look how beautiful it is. Just, you can see it going down there. Um, now, you know, Adam and I always like to come up with different food that you can take away camping. Not saying it's always practical, but we just like to give you different ideas on stuff that you can have on the road and things that you just might not think about making or having. So anyway, check out what we're doing for our entree tonight. I say that because we're just going to do a cheese platter tonight and um, just keep it really simple. Some biscuits, some cheese, some salami. But let's have a look at what I've got for entree. So I've brought along some of this. It's feta and spinach. This is like a, a um, bread. And then you cook it in the pan and it like doesn't take long at all. Just a little bit of oil. Just got some oil here. Put a bit of lemon on it. You can have, have a little bit of cider chili as well. But yeah, a bit of lemon. And this stuff tastes amazing. Um, we did have it, if you had seen in one of our episodes not long, too long ago, we brought this from the market. Not this packet, but this freshly made and it tastes great. But this stuff is just as good. One of our friends bought this over one night for us to try. And I tell you, we've brought it ever since. It's so good. Anyway, let's get it cooked up. All right, Twyla, the first thing we're gonna do is just get your oil and just chuck a little bit of that in your pan like that. Get that all nice and hot, so I'll put that on now. Let's burn it away. And then we're just gonna open up our packet and throw it in. So this is how it looks in the pan, pretty simple, pretty basic. Now it's just three minutes on one side, you flip it over, three minutes on the other, and then supposedly it's ready. All right, so the big reveal, this is how it looks. Once you've cooked it, there we go. How was that? I ended up putting the lid on just because it wasn't getting hot enough outside. This is how it looks. So all we're gonna do now is cut it up in four pieces. I'm gonna go inside and it's had enough. There is mosquitoes all over our van and he's freaking out. But um, anyway, we're gonna cut this up and then pour some lemon on it and it's ready. What do you think you're doing? All right, so we're in the van for the night now because um, why, Adam? Why Mozzie, are we in the Mozzie van? Mozzie infestation. The Mozzie infestation. <laughs> How are we going to go this summer? I know, well, no, we'll be fine. No, this is, no, no, it's just, we haven't had Mozzies like this before in the last, you know, year and a half of camping. Yeah, I suppose. I think, just, obviously the area being such, yeah. a, such a large lake, so. Yeah. Anyway, and then, um, why Adam taste tests that. Um, we've kept our screen up tonight, so when we go in and out to take toilets or toilet, Hopefully we don't get too many of them coming in and we will turn our lights off. Um, we tried the blue lights last night, but they still didn't work. They still didn't work. They still were coming in like crazy. Um, but anyway, so Adam, you've put lemon on that. And what do you think? Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. um, nice. Feta. Feta. What's the cheese? It's feta cheese, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Feta and um, spinach. Spinach and feta. Pastry, I think. Um, yeah, nice. Mm, nice. Beautiful. This is entree. Entree. <laughs> we'll have a look at main soon. All right, it's um, bedtime. Yeah, she's coming. Come on. Bedtime. Bedtime, Tyler. Bedtime. No. All right. No, she's sleeping. We've had a big day, and yeah. Tyler's had a big day. So let's all go to sleep. All Lights right. off. And let's go to bed. So I've just woken up. Adam's still asleep and um, it's really cold in the van, but out here it's absolutely beautiful. Check this view out. Oh, sun's out and uh, it's actually a really, really nice morning. So, Tyler, let's go enjoy it and let Daddy have a sleep in, huh? Go for a walk? Yeah, walk. Go for a walk, Tyler. Walk. <laughs>
Just keeping it simple today, we're just having some quesadillas with some salami and cheese. Simple. Hey, Twala. So just packing up, getting ready to go. We're going to head into a market. So, and uh, we might stop to some bathrooms on the way because uh, there's no torts here, like I was saying. Um, but, oh, it's just such a beautiful day. It's just such a shame we have to go today. <laughs> Twyla, are you dressing up for the market? Have you got your new lead on? Look at this. Looking pretty sexy, baby girl. Wow, look at you. So we're off now to head to Yaronga Market and we're packing up. A few others are packing up too, slowly. We've got camper vans, we've got trailers, rooftop tents. Rubbish. Rubbish. At least he's using the bins. Yeah, that's true. So you can see that there's an asphalt road the whole way through. So, which is fantastic. So you've got, you won't get bogged on this road. The whole length, there's asphalt felt. What a great spot this is. Look at that one. That's so good. There's a few of those spots where they're nice and flat. Right on the water. Some campers up here. Have a look at these guys. They've got tents, a few cars. They look like they have an absolute ball. So we're back in town this morning and uh, got a really good car park. Well, good for advertising anyway. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. But <laughs> we're just heading down to the market now. It looks like a lot of people are packing up to go home after this long weekend. It's been fantastic. So good having four days off. Even though we're, you only saw two nights with us here, the last week's episode we filmed this weekend as well. But um, yeah, so anyway, we're heading down to the market now. A lot of dogs around and it's a beautiful day. Well, one thing we missed yesterday, which is down here. With the ferry. Yeah, it's a ferry. It's over, there. well, the steamboat, I should say. Oh, that's right. And then also they've got, um, you can see the market coming up and it looks like they've just run it along the path. So, which is really cool. So you just walk the long path and you get to see all the shops. We thought we'd come over and have a look at the steamboat while it's here. <laughs> before it takes off on this skin like yesterday we missed it but how cool is it? it looks great so they'll be going out today doing a cruise so we're just having a closer look at this sign and last week they had a pet friendly day which is cool and today what is it it's 40 45 dollars was it lunch is 42 which is like a roast 42 a roast, lunch. roast lunch how cool is that all the sites things there so you must do the lunch get a yeah you may as well do the lunch because otherwise 30 bucks just to see the sites but um, i reckon that'd be awesome hey adam we could get one of these for outside the van look stick that in the sand and can have a wine cheese pot on it might be able to find twyla's name in a puzzle do you reckon they'd have it no, Somehow, I don't think so. Too unusual for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's time for a new pet, Adam, and get a chicken well, or a rabbit. We have the chickens in our backyard. What you want chickens in our backyard? Well, if we chickens. live off grid, you know, Eats. yeah, mm -hmm. we'll get some chickens. They're kind of cute. <laughs> All right. Well, we've made it to the end of the market. We we'll head back. Well, that's it for another adventure guys thank you so much for tuning in we're home now and i can't wait to show you next week's episode so make sure you tune in next sunday at 5 p.m for that and also we have our wednesday episodes now at three o'clock so if you haven't already subscribed get down the bottom like subscribe tell your friends about us to all our new subscribers Hey, thanks for watching, and until next Sunday, we'll see you then. Thanks, guys.